What do you get when you cross Pokemon and AI? Well, in Pokemon Violet, you get the future Paradox forms. Arguably, they're some of the most controversial Pokemon added in this generation. However, I love them. They are robotic, metallic, and their shinies match each other, making them look like one complete set when you have them all. There's only one problem. I don't have them all. I don't even have one. After catching all of the Scarlet exclusive ones, I knew that I had to complete the full set of shiny Paradox Pokemon. Although, I didn't feel like just catching the Paradox forms was enough to satisfy my hunger for some cool shiny Pokemon. So that's when I came up with the crazy idea. What if I caught all of the Violet Paradox shinies and all the regular versions of them too? This would mean for every Paradox Pokemon, I'd have to go out and hunt down its modern day equivalent, making sure I fully complete the set. So that's exactly what I did. Here's every shiny Violet Paradox Pokemon, plus a whole lot more. But before we get started, huge shout out to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. You've just got yourself a brand new phone, and you're looking for the best mobile game to play. Enter Raid Shadow Legends. With awesome visuals, loads of powerful champions, challenging PvE bosses, and tactical PvP content. Last month, Raid had its fourth anniversary, and here are my top four favorite champions that I would invite to a dinner party to celebrate it. The first is Jintoro. His main power is Oni's Rage. The fourth time Jintoro uses Oni's Rage, he hits five times, and each hit is as damaging as the first. The second is Queen Eva. Queen Eva Eva is a boss in the campaign, but she's also a heck of a champion if you find her in a shard. The third is Koronar. He has a huge amount of control with his skill set. He's a real helper for your team. The last one is Raglan. Due to her amazing revive ability, she can be formidable anywhere in the game, even with the hardest bosses. Raid Shadow Legends continues to get bigger and better with one of its most requested features, Live Arena PvP. Raid's letting you duke it out against other players live for prestige awards, like artifact sets, fragments for a legendary Void Champion, and special Live Arena crests that unlock powerful new bonuses at the Great Hall. If you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Use my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses worth $30. We're talking an epic champion, Kellen the Shrike, and other useful things. Energy refills, magic potions, XP brews, you get the idea. See you on the battlefield. Now, on to the shinies. I thought I should kick things off with the normal forms that I missed from Pokemon Scarlet, excluding Donphan and Volcarona, as I'll be hunting those for the Violet section. So here they are. Oh, ho, ho, shiny Fungus. Let's go. I thought I saw that out of the corner of my eye. Wow. What a little, what a little friend. <laughs> I've never had a shiny Fungus before, but this one's going to become an Amoongus, obviously, in honor of the great Brute Bonnet. Look how cute. What a little angel. <laughs> cute. What a little baby. Dang, 55? Why is this thing so large? And we caught it. Shiny Fungus is ours. Let's go. This is also the first sandwich. How many minutes do I have left on this thing? Only five minutes left. Just about six minutes left. I'm going to guess lax as always. It's careful. A careful Fungus. Well, let's send it out in battle. Come on out, Shiny Fungus. What a tiny little baby. <laughs> well, now it's time to evolve it. <laughs> the best evolution screen. <laughs> Shiny Amoongus. Honestly, a very, very underrated shiny. This thing looks fantastic. Let's go, Shiny Amoongus. Let's go. What a great shiny. All right, on to the next one. Oh, oh yes, shiny Magnemite, let's go. Let's go, we're on fire. Let's go, wow, that was very noticeable. Very, very noticeable. Hey, hey little magnet friend. Wow, so you're gonna become a Magneton in honor of uh, Sandy Shocks. Yeah, dude, that looks so good. Shiny Magnemite, the only appropriate Pokeball for anything metallic has to be a luxury ball. Let's do it.
first ball caught it right away let's go shiny magnemite i'm gonna guess lax it's quirky a quirky magnemite come on out beautiful yeah very noticeable for sure and as cool as this magnemite is we gotta evolve it now here we go Oh my, that looks amazing. What a beautiful shiny. The magnets look so good. Time to see it sparkle. Come on out. Oh, the luxury ball looks so good too. Yes. <laughs> Let's move along. Wait, is that it? Is that Shiny Jigglypuff already? <laughs> Man, I just started this recording session. I think this is like my fourth or fifth sandwich, but that's crazy. After only two minutes into the recording, we've got a Shiny Jigglypuff. That's crazy. Look at that little balloon creature. <laughs> that's super noticeable. Very, very noticeable. And what a cutie. Wow. Well, that is a really cool Shiny. Very glad to finally have this one. Cute! Such a cutie. Oh my gosh. Shiny Jigglypuff. What ball to catch this one in? Finally! I am too stubborn to use any sort of thunder wave or sleep. So I just throw Pokeballs until I get it. It's my own fault. But we finally got it. Shiny Jigglypuff. I think this is my first ever Shiny Jigglypuff too. So that's a really cool find to get. I'm going with Lax. It's Jolly. <gasps> it's got a mark. What is it? The Peckish. The lunchtime mark. Jigglypuff the Peckish. Let's go. My first marked one in a little while. So that's pretty cool. And this one we don't even have to evolve because Screamtail is based after Jigglypuff. Come on out, Jigglypuff the Peckish. I love it so much. On to the next one. Oh no, I knew that was gonna happen. Shiny Ghastly, everybody. I was resetting for a mischievous outbreak forever and I just couldn't get it. So I'm like, you know what? Let's just throw in a ghost sandwich and, and hope that we can get lucky. We did not. <laughs> Instead, we got a Ghastly. That's fine. I do have a bunch of these from Legends Arceus, but I don't have any in this game. Shiny Ghastly. You know what? It's hard to be mad. I thought this thing would be very unnoticeable because I heard rumor that they weren't super good in this game, but that looks all right. And we caught it. Super sick. Shiny Ghastly. I have a feeling it's not going to be our last. It's Impish and no mark. An Impish Ghastly. Shiny Ghastly. <laughs> all right. Let's get that mischievous now. There it is. Oh my gosh. I finally found an outbreak and there it is. <laughs> Johnny Mischievous. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Where'd it go? Where are you? Oh, look at you. What a queen. Amazing. Shiny Mischievous is finally ours. Beautiful. And we caught it. Let's go. Oh, that heart was kind of brutal. I'm not going to lie. The amount of times I've had to reset the date on my Switch is crazy. But here it is, our shiny mischievous. It looks really, really good in this game. Wow. It's brave with no mark. Only one mark shiny on this quest so far. It's kind of crazy. Let's see those sparkles again. Shiny Mischievous. What a cool Pokemon. It's time we move on. Here we go. Before we get to the last target for the Scarlet Forms, let's talk about this particular hunt. I'm sure you've all seen this silly hunt before, but if you haven't, I'll explain. If you make a level three dragon sandwich in Pokemon Violet, stand in this spot inside this one random cave and set up a picnic, you're in for a wonderful surprise. Introducing the Bagon Slide. Yes, you're seeing this correctly. Those Bagon are sliding out of the wall. Anyway, let's see the shiny.
Shiny Bagon! Oh my god, finally! Oh my god, 12,870 Bagon. Holy smokes, and it's finally here. I cannot believe that. I'm being attacked by every tiny baby now. Oh dear. That is my longest hunt in this game by far. It's been about a week I've been hunting this thing, and oh my gosh, there's a green one right there. Look at it. It came out of the wall. <laughs> it came out of the wall. Look at it. It's so green. I would thought for sure that I failed it at some point, but man, looking at that now, there's no way. There's no way I failed this thing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go dusk. It is fitting because we are in a cave. And first ball, we caught it. Big on what's caught. Let's go. In honor of Super Potions, its name is Walberta. No, Mark, and it's Hardy. Go, Walberta. It looks so good. It looks so good. Well, time to evolve this thing into Shellgon. Shiny Shellgon. Look at that. You can see like the green tint it has on it. Now let's see Shellgon sparkle. Yes. <laughs> looks really, really good. But you know what's going to look even better? A shiny Salamence. Let's do it. Whoa! How? Shiny Salamence looks amazing in this game. I'm really glad I went with the Dusk Ball for sure. This is ridiculous. Look how good this thing looks. This is amazing. Oh my gosh. Shiny Salamence. Walberta looking amazing. Look at this thing. Now we finally have this one to match our Roaring Moon. And I guess with that being said, the journey continues. Now that we've made up our missing shinies from the last video, here's the moment you've been waiting for. It's time to hunt down some violet forms. Wait, is that a shiny fampy? I think that's shiny. That's definitely a shiny fampy. Let's go! Oh, wow. That actually stood out a lot. This is my first sandwich, too. How many minutes left do I have? I have 11 minutes on it left. Look at that cute little elephant. What a little angel. I've never had a shiny fampy uh, in this game anyway. I've got one in Rumble, but wow, pretty cool. Cutie, awesome, let's go, shiny Fampy, looking so cute. There we go, Fampy was caught, let's go. So this is our Dawn fan. In order to match our Great Tusk and to match Iron Treads as well. No Mark, and it's naughty, a naughty little Fampy. Come on out, shiny Fampy. Yeah, wow, yeah, it's definitely noticeable. And there's our shiny Dawn fan. Look at how good that shiny is. That thing is crazy. This shiny is so good. Seriously, the orange on it just stands out so much. It looks so good. Come on out, shiny Dawn fan. That is such a good shiny. Oh, 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 shiny. 
Let's go. Oh, I thought my eyes were playing tricks on me there. Shiny iron treads. Let's go. I'm like halfway through. This is only my second sandwich. I'm like halfway through it right now. Dang. Look at this thing. That was actually like surprisingly noticeable. I, I noticed the ears first. I was like, why are those ears silver? That's kind of, oh, hey. Wow, look at the texture on this thing. This looks this looks so good. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Let's see the sparkles. Yeah. And we caught it. Let's go. Shiny iron treads was caught. Treadmill. That is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and guess lax as I always do. Hardy and it's got a mark. Oh my gosh. What is it? It's the sleepy time mark. I do have a couple sleepy mark shinies, but this is still really cool. Treadmill the sleepy and you're so much cooler than all of them. Time to see these sparkles one more time. Treadmill the sleepy. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Yeah, that is so, so cool. Oh my gosh, I'm about to get wrecked. Let's continue this adventure. Ooh, shiny deli bird. Let's go. Oh my gosh. That was pretty fast. This is my second sandwich. Dang, the luck is flowing through today. Like, I'm not even that deep into this. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm only two minutes into the sandwich. That's crazy. But look at this tiny little bean. Hey, hey, how's it, how's it going there, friend? You gonna go deliver some presents? Oh my gosh. Like, I knew shiny deli bird was a pretty good shiny, but this looks really, really nice. I'm, I'm pretty impressed with this thing for sure. Yeah, shiny deli bird. She is adorable. And we caught it. Let's go. Is that how you spell claws? I think so. If not, I'm gonna look like an idiot, but <laughs> I'm gonna guess lax as I always do. Be cool if this thing had a mark. No mark and it's timid. Come on out, Mrs. Claws. Let's go. That thing looks great. My first ever deli bird that's not in Pokemon Rumble, so that's extremely cool. Let's keep on trucking. Let's go on to the next one. Braylon. I like Braylon. Hopefully I'll see that one in Gen 3 soon. Oh, ho, ho, shiny iron bundle. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Hey, uh, hey, you, you want to say what's up, Hunter? Hi, everyone. Hi, viewers. Hi. If you guys don't know, that's a uh, super potion that I'm chatting with right here. Oh my goodness. I can't believe Blue Vector just found a shiny iron bundle. <laughs> <laughs> over there <laughs> they're all just staring me oh this this is actually like straight out of like a, a a horror flick here this is by far my favorite paradox form like total so i'm super pumped to have this one yeah so <laughs> use your master ball use your master ball you won't bet bet do it right now i'm just kidding oh there's a critical capture and we caught here it he goes. There he goes. Yeah, this thing looks amazing. Oh my gosh. Good job, gamer. Thanks. Uh, Sub-Zero is coming to my mind. Sub-Zero. I like that. We gotta do some nature guesses. I'm gonna say naughty. Naughty? Okay, I'm going lax as I always do. Do you think it's marked? No. I also don't think it's marked. Okay, then I, no, no, oh, wait, wait. Oh, 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 you got it. I was right. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> It's a naughty Sub-Zero. Look at him go. All right, let's send him out in battle. Shiny Sub-Zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that looks amazing. So pumped on this one. You got any, uh, got any closing words? Make sure you have your daily dose of mac and cheese. You heard it here first, folks. Oh my god, shiny Hariyama. That is exactly my target. 
Oh, I thought I was going to get a Maku Hitta, but that is crazy to see. Look at this thing. <laughs> So I do have one of these. I got it in the Violet Badge quest, but I, I needed another one. So I had to rehunt it. Those purple hands. Oh, <laughs> the purple hands, the purple hands. It's the purple hands. Like that's what makes this shiny so good. That's critical capture. And we caught it. Let's go. Well, let's save our game and check it out right away. Purple hands, purple hands. Um, I'm gonna guess lax of nature. It's mild, a mild Hariyama. Now that we found purple hands, I think it's time we find some iron hands. Wait, oh, guess what I just found? A shiny, <laughs> yeah. Shiny iron hands is on my screen, let's go. Those are some big hands. Oh no, wow, we are very zoomed in, aren't we? Wow, shiny iron hands, look at this thing. Look at that chrome dome. Oh my gosh, I'm being chased and it's gonna catch up to me. I think it's finally time we catch this thing. Oh, critical capture and it's mine. Let's go. It just barely fits. I'm naming it King Neptune because, well, yeah, it is impish. No mark. Come on out, King Neptune. Oh, yeah, that thing looks so good. Whoa, I've never seen that animation before. What the heck? It's time we move along to the next one. Oh no, oh man. Well, that's a shiny brute bonnet. That is not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a Zuelis. I mispronounced it like crazy the last time, but I know what it's pronounced like now. I'm just a dummy, but hey, look at that. Another brute bonnet. I realized quickly that if I put a dark sandwich down here, I'd get both Zuelis and brute bonnet, but you know what? I thought I'm seeing like three Zuelis for every group on it. There's there's no chance I phase on a, on another one, right? Still really cool to see this thing. Like all the paradox Pokemon are really really cool. Critical capture. And we caught it. Let's go. Brute Bonnet was caught. Here's our second Brute Bonnet. First one I got in the Paradox Scarlet quest. Uh, I'm going to guess Lax. It is Lax. Nice. You know, I get it every once in a while. <laughs> New Brute Bonnet. That looks so good. It looks so good. I love the color on it so much. All right. Well, that's phase one for Zoilus. Here we go again. Oh my, look at it. Oh no, it's about to jump off the cliff. Let me save the game. <laughs> what are you doing up there? Oh my gosh, shiny Zuelis on the freaking fence. What are you doing? Get off of there, you clown. Can I encounter it like this? I think I can. On the rock. <laughs> Here's another Zuelis, a Pokemon I never thought I'd have to hunt again, and yet here we are. Oh man, well, I'm just gonna catch this thing and get it over with, because if you guys remember, I found a bajillion of these things in my Paradox Scarlet quest, so repeat ball it is. Critical capture. Nicely done. It is gentle, a gentle dragon. I miss this evolution screen. It's cool that we get to watch him do it in the overworld, but it is really special to see like with this crazy like atmospheric effect on it too. Oh, this thing looks so good. Three headed dragon, beautiful. The purple looks awesome. Oh my gosh. Let's see those sparkles. 
Oh, <laughs> yeah, even though I've got a million of these, I'm really excited to have this one as well. Let's move right along. No way that was that fast. I am literally two minutes into my first sandwich. That is crazy. What? I've literally been recording for four minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so dumb. How is this thing already here? Shiny iron jugulus. <laughs> This is the game blessing me for having to hunt another Zoilus again. You know what? I'm just convinced. I'm convinced. After getting that was my, I think my fifth Zoilus, we finally get a nice and beautiful Iron Jugulus. Look at, look at how beautiful this thing is. Wow. That thing looks crazy. And we caught it. Let's go. That didn't take as long as I thought it would. Shout out to everyone on Twitch. No mark, and it's careful. Shiny Iron Jugulus. Yeah, I am very impressed with this thing. It looks so good. Um, That was really fast. Uh, Let's just keep going tonight then, I guess. <laughs> Ho 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 ho! I almost walked away from that one. <laughs> Shiny Volcarona! Gosh, look at that thing! Shiny Volcarona! That thing looks crazy good. I need a better photo. I need a much better photo than that. All right, get back over here. We're not done with you yet. That's just, that's such a good shiny. That's such a good shiny. Jeez, that thing was like catching a legendary. <laughs> I always forget how low of a catch a Volcarona has. It's quiet. A quiet Volcarona. Boom. Yeah, what a much better shot. Look at that thing. Amazing. Well, everybody, it's time we move on to the next one. Wait, wait, that's it. Oh my gosh, let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh, I just had gotten Shinoed back there and I, I was like, I'm getting Shinoed again. There's no way. <laughs> Shiny Iron Moth. Oh my, look at that thing. Yeah, wow. I thought this would be a lot more subtle than it was. But looking at it now, it is very obvious that when those, uh, when the, when the spots on its wings, the, the wings, it's the wings. You can tell by the wings so much more clearly than the face. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. It looks really, really good. So crazy how the thing is fire poison type. Like what a cool type. And we caught it. Let's go in the premiere ball. That only took like four Pokeballs. Nice. Well, I'm going to guess lax as I always do. It is bold with no mark. Come on out, shiny Mothra. Oh, <laughs> wow. And again, anything with a metal texture in this game just looks so, so good. I guess that is one perk that the future Paradox forms have over the past ones. With that being said, we press on. Oh yeah. And the Bagon slide also works with Larvitar and Pokemon Scarlet. So I had to do it again.
Oh, wait, that's Shiny Larvitar. Wait, what? That was so fast. Let's go. That was so much faster than Bagon. That only took 420 scene. Of course it did. Well, let's get over here. Man, it is kind of hard to see in this lighting. But look at these two. It's very noticeable up close, though. <laughs> My first ever Shiny Larvitar. Let's go. It looks so cute. That green looks amazing. Cutie, shiny Larvitar. Yeah, this one definitely made up for the Bagon going over 12,000 because 420 is a very nice and quick hunt. Very fast. Critical capture. And it's ours. Let's go. Shiny Larvitar, my first one ever. Looks so good. It's mild, a mild Larvitar. Let's see it. Yeah, those sparkles look so good. Let's evolve it into Pupitar now. Shiny Pupitar. Look at that purple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is probably my favorite shiny out of the three. It's got that beautiful deep purple color. Oh, man, it's so hard to be upset with. A shiny as good as this one. A lot of people just are not a big fan of the shiny, but look at that purple belly. <laughs> I'm just getting the Celebi Pokemon movie flashbacks in my head with a Tyranitar in that one. <laughs> shiny Tyranitar. Oh, that thing looks amazing. All right. Well, with that being said, and that amazingly fast hunt, I hope this bodes well for our next one. Oh, ho, 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 look who's up there. <laughs> that has got to be like the coolest way I've ever found a shiny. He's up there. He's up top. Shiny iron thorns. Oh my God. <laughs> that is so cool. What are you doing up here? What are you doing up here? I have no words. That is so cool. <laughs> wow. You ever just find a Pokemon chilling on the cliff above your head? ho, 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 ho. And we caught it. Let's go. Shiny Iron Thorns. Again, that's probably like the craziest way I've ever like seen a shiny. Just on the cliff above my head. I'm really glad I decided to look up right there. It's mild. A mild little guy. Come on out, Cliff. <laughs> well, guys, let's keep on going. Wait a minute. That's a shiny Fido. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> what the heck? Not what I'm looking for at all. I'm trying to find the best place to hunt for Ralts, Curlia, Gardevoir, Gallade, you know, all that jazz. But uh, I found a little puppy friend. That's kind of crazy. I'm like very early into the sandwich too. <laughs> I'm surprised I noticed this one. This is one that I was worried that if I ever saw it in person that I would totally miss it, but hey, I noticed it right away. So that's pretty cool. <laughs> Cute puppy. Let's go. Little bread roll. <laughs> Critical capture. And it's ours. Nice. Let's go. Fido was caught. <laughs> Ooh, impish. And it's got a mark. Oh my gosh. I, why does this always happen to me? It's the sleepy time mark. Buns the sleepy. <laughs> How cute. All right, well, uh, let's go ahead and uh, show up the sparkles one more time and move along because we got our routes to find. Buns the sleepy. <laughs> All right, well, let's move right along, shall we? Oh. 
Oh, shiny Ralph, let's go. Whew. This one took a little bit, and by a little bit, I mean a couple days. But uh, hey, this thing looks amazing. Hey, blue hat. Um, my name's Blue. You have a blue hat. My name's Blue. We should be friends. What is this route gonna become? We have a choice between Gardevoir and Gallade. I've already picked it out, so let's catch it, and you guys will see what it'll become. Beauty, shiny routes. I really was hoping to get the Gardevoir shiny, but it's okay. It still looks really, really good. I'm stoked on it. There's only one appropriate ball and it's a dive ball. Critical capture. And it's our shiny route. Let's go. It's brave and it's got a mark. What's the mark? The uncommon mark, Ralts the sociable. Very cool. Come on out, Ralts the sociable. Oh, that looked so good with the Pokeball too. Let's go. <laughs> Ralts is definitely one of my favorite Gen 3 Pokemon, so I'm glad to finally have one in this game. Well, let's evolve this thing now. <laughs> I love this game. Shiny Curlia with the ground still being very broken. <laughs> So good, so good. So I've seen in some comment sections that some of you guys don't think that Gardevoir can be male. Well, let me just prove you wrong real quick. Shiny Gardevoir looks so, so good. Come on out, Gardevoir the sociable. Oh, again, that dive ball looks so good, so good. But that being said, I think it's time we go and find that Gallade. Oh my gosh, first phase. Let's go! Shiny Gallade! That is crazy. Look at this, they came right up to me. I was kind of worried that like at certain times of the day or the shadows would really make it unnoticeable, but this thing looks amazing. That looks insanely good. I've never ever had a shiny Gallade, so it feels amazing to finally see this thing. I want to see a sparkle right now. Oh, <laughs> and that's a capture. We got them both in a dive ball. Let's go. It's lo oh, it's got a mark. Oh, I hope it's like a, the snow mark or something because it's snowing. It's also wait, wasn't that the wait a second? Wasn't that the routes too? What? It, it, it's the same mark. It's the same mark. Gallade the sociable. Oh my gosh. Still asleep. Sparkling in sleep. It looks so good. Only one more shiny to find now. This quest is nearly complete. Let's get to it. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. We're done. Oh my God. Shiny Iron Valiant. Oh my gosh. It's right there. Oh my gosh. I'm dead. <laughs> this thing looks unbelievable. This has to be one of the coolest Paradox forms by far. As a huge fan of Gardevoir and Gallade, Obviously, this thing is absolutely incredible. Shiny Iron Valiant looks so good. Ended up using a luxury ball, but hey, I caught it. Let's go. <laughs> Holy smokes, guys. I can't believe it's finally here. This is like my seventh sandwich or something like that. So this one's been a little bit. Wow. 
That's amazing. All right, I'm guessing lax as I always do. It is quiet. That is not a good nature for it. So we will be changing that. Look at how awesome this thing is. Don't fall off the cliff, please. And with an amazing audience that we have, shiny iron valiant. Oh my gosh. And with that, I completed them all. Every past, present and future paradox form. This quest was insanely fun and I'm already excited for the next quest I have in store. Huge shout out again to Raid Shadow Legends for supporting the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.